Um, I know I'm just trying to help touch so many lives and everything just to help, you know, spread the awareness about this job and things that we go through. I'm trying to show you guys the real. So, um, honestly, I love you, crew. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy, Jack Hill Robinson, and I'm currently sitting here in Milwaukee. I did not feel at the beginning of my trip, of my commuted into Atlanta, and we had to do a Milwaukee turn. It's the first day of our three-day. Hey, Erin. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, so you got Erin and John. John, you gonna say what's up to the people? Oh, great. Hey, look, look, look. <laughs> we are currently in Milwaukee. We flew from Atlanta to Milwaukee. We're going right back to Atlanta, and we are ending the day going on our flight to Cleveland, Ohio. Um, it's gonna be cold, so that's why I'm wearing a sweater today. Um, I did not bring a big stuffy jacket like my flight leader, Mindy. You gonna say hey to the people? Oh, sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now she's all, oh, what's up, guys? Hey. So, this is Mindy. This is my flight leader for the day. I'm currently the assist on today's flight, so and we are flying on a bus today. What flight are we flying on? We are on the 320, the A320. So it's like a little brother to like 321 and 319. Yeah, rocking and rolling today. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good trip. Good trip, good trip already. Well, now she's great. She's super fun to fly with. We graduated in the same class, so it's always good to fly with classmates. So, but yeah, so um, we're gonna be getting ready to board in about two minutes, and it's not too long. The flight here was only an hour and 28 minutes so hopefully it should be around an hour and a half or sooner coming back but i'm checking with you guys when we get back today Thanks. Marco. polo yo all right great We're currently on the way to cleveland currently on a A321, which is a, a pretty big plane to be taking to Cleveland at this time of day. Um, my crewmates were so lovely to get us some food, and they're currently in the back. I, I think you guys are just being mischievous. I don't think you guys are back here doing no kind of work. You guys aren't back here working. <laughs> hey everybody, this is John. This is my boy, John. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna say hey. You're not gonna say hey to the people. You're not gonna introduce Hi. yourself. Hi, I'm Erin. <laughs> So would you, how long you guys been flying? One month and oh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, 17 days, I think. Oh, a month and a half. Like three Did weeks. You? Three weeks? Okay, John. All right, I'm, all right. I'm the senior for this one. Yeah. You guys are still new. You guys have any advice for any potential applicants to the job? Um, just keep smiling. Yeah, keep right. smiling and, and be uh, um, just be yourself, basically. See, that's what I've been telling y'all. So be yourself. Yeah, just be Your yourself, personality man. will take you so far. Yeah. <laughs> Say them again. Tell them again. We're gonna, we're gonna go high with your personality. Yeah. All right, I'm checking in back with you guys when we get to Cleveland. Y'all take care. Ready to get to that hotel. This dude today was just too long. Oh my gosh. But she look, she's a rock star though. She got us some Chick-fil-A. I was like, what? Yes. <laughs> That's about to get toured right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where we going? Oh. Uh, it's gonna be walking forever. Gosh. What's up everybody? Finally made it legal in. Um it's like almost 2 30 in the morning um gonna be up about 14 hours i got it you know i ate a sandwich and everything took a shower got my clothes ready and everything for tomorrow probably just gonna probably get um hopefully about eight hours of sleep but no today was today was pretty chill we just had three legs um again started in atlanta went to milwaukee for a turn and now we're in cleveland in case you didn't know in ohio so it's pretty cold outside it's like 30 degrees um it was starting to snow as soon as we got here um my crew is pretty cool um, two of them are brand new to the line so they they've only been flying about a month or so um so you know they've got a lot to learn so i was trying to give any advice i can it's always good to try to encourage people uh, you know just make them feel wanted but the crumbs is chilling 
watching Martin. It's currently on commercial right now, but you know, just trying to wind down. Came down for some free breakfast. And I get to see this little guy. Hey there. Oh my gosh. Hey there. It's a good boy. Oh my gosh. Oh, this got to be the best part of my morning. Hey there. Hey, good boy. Oh my gosh. Hey there, Ben. Hey there, Ben. Hey there. Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Um, it's like sleep approaching 11 o'clock, so it's actually not morning, but I decided to sleep in um, since we got in so late last night and the layover is pretty short. Um, but the hotel that we stay at, um, it provides breakfast and we get a nice little coupon. So that's always good, you know, trying to stay frugal, trying to save some coins wherever you can. And it's super important, especially, you know, as a new flight attendant, I don't really think I'm new though. You know, it's, it's a year and a half, so you know, I'm still fresh in the game though. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's always good trying to save money. Um, I had lunch packed, but it's already good too, um, you know, just to have breakfast. But uh, I got this beautiful, <laughs> It's beautiful uh, cinnamon roll, and you know I got some um, giant water from the, you know, giant water from the plane and everything. You know, hydrated, hydrated. This is for you, Maddie. So if you're watching this, I am drinking my water. I can't even begin to describe to y'all. <laughs> y'all know I love food, right? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm gonna be banging on tables. I just, it's just so good. But I, I can't wait to dig into this. But <sighs> I'm so excited. No, but the guy, um, the chef and everything downstairs, I was like, you know, have you had it before? Is it good? And he was like, I mean, it's smelling good. But I don't know, it was a real toss up between like this and the egg bee muffin. Um, I don't know. It was almost really impossible to decide. And it had like some pearl vanilla waffle. I don't know. I mean, everything down there looks so good, but I don't know. The highlight of my day, I gotta be chilling with Ben. And you know, Ben's the puppy that is downstairs. <laughs> And for y'all, I did wash my hands when I got back to my room, so I don't even want y'all in the comments talking about, bro, you really about to eat breakfast and you wash your hands? Hey, yo, my folks raised me a lot better than that, you feel me? If you in any way enjoying my content, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I want to know what you guys want to see. You know, I definitely got some comments and everything talking about some, um, you know, this how's life, you know, if you commute or not, um, and, you know, how's the pay, you know, what is it like, you know, just being a flight attendant in general, if you guys got any advice, I definitely got more videos coming. Uh, one of my first videos that I uploaded to the channel, How to Become a Flight Attendant, that did really well with you guys. And that's all I wanted. Uh, my main goal in creating this channel was to help inspire at least one person. And, you know, my, my first goal for, you know, my first year, because it's actually been <laughs> right at a year. YouTube had to remind me. Um, I forgot. So for any of you guys that have supported me over the past year, sincerely, thank you. Um, this is a journey that... Um, I know I'm just trying to help touch so many lives and everything just to help, you know, spread the awareness about this job and the things that we go through. I'm trying to show you guys the real. So, um, honestly, I love you, crew. I appreciate y'all's support. And just on the topic of keeping everything transparent with you guys, um, one of the main reasons I created this channel was, again, just to showcase the things that, you know, people don't see. I know that when I was applying for the job, a lot of the videos I was seeing was, hey, come join me in Rome, Amsterdam, Italy, Paris. But nobody was really showcasing, you know, what it feels like to just have a quick turn to Tallahassee, Savannah, California. You know, a lot of times you wouldn't even see um, international trips until you get some seniority under your belt. Sometimes you're blessed enough to be able to have those trips plotted on your line during your A days or your access days, or sometimes somebody senior gives you the trips. Um, but a lot of times it's not always the case. So um, one of the parts of my channel was just trying to show you guys the real, the nitty gritty. And sometimes, you know, we have long days, super long nights, and sometimes we're just incredibly exhausted. One of the main things I wanted to showcase, especially in one of my new videos, is just talking about, you know, just making sure that you're keeping your peace. Um, that was one of the things that one of my, one of my managers um, told me when I first started. I had an incredibly stressful trip. Um, this is before I even started the YouTube series. And um, I didn't even think I felt like coming to work. Um, it was a situation in which, you know, I thought my life was at risk, um, you know, while flying. And, you know, I was scared for the lives of me and my crew. And um, didn't feel like continuing work that day. So he sent me right on home. Um, but again, one thing he told me was to always protect your peace. And that's if there's anything I can tell anybody that's coming to the line, anybody that's interested in this job, you know, you got to know, you know, you got to know your worth and you got to know what you can and can't stand for. And it's all about, you know, just protecting yourself, you know, whether that's emotionally, physically, spiritually, your entire well-being. And of course, I'm a big, huge advocate for making sure that your mental health is always in check. 
And I know that's super taboo um, in some places like that. But I know last year I was diagnosed with um, major depression disorder and severe anxiety. And um, it's hard. Um, you know, it's something that you just kind of, you know, it's a it's a daily battle. I'm not going to say there's like a quick fix for it. You know, um, I'm spiritual, so I pray about it each and every day. My family prays with me as well. You know, just always, you know, just taking care of yourself. And especially when it comes to this job where, you know, you were in, you know, different cities going through different time zones and you miss family and friends and you're missing these major milestones and events. Um, it's important that you got to have, you know, a village, that you got to have a solid foundation and everything. You know, just people that you can lean on, um, you know, especially, <sighs> y'all, it's just so much. You know, so you never know what you're going to be missing. Nine times out of ten, I'm working on the weekends or sometimes I'm working through the week. And, um, you know, I just try to keep in contact with, you know, with friends and family. Um, you know, quick FaceTime call, um, just getting out the hotel, to, you know, talking with your crew. I was talking with my crew and, you know, we're like, hey, we got in so late last night, but we're going to go out tomorrow night probably um, during our layover. But, you know, just connecting with people, talking to people, letting them know, you know, like how you're feeling. Um, if you're feeling, if you're having an off day, let your crew know that. Um, you know, there's some days in which, you know, I can be like super charismatic and energetic coming into work and other days I don't want to be bothered. And that's okay. You're human. At the end of the day, you're human. It's all about, of course, just being transparent. Just, you know, hey, I'm not feeling like myself today. Or, you know, I might just need a few more breaks than normal. But, you know, can you help me out? Ask questions. And as a promoter for um, mental health, especially being diagnosed with it and knowing I've had it for a long time, um, you know, I definitely want to showcase and you know, create a whole new series um, just to talk to you guys about the things that we're going through and to talk to families and friends of well, the flight attendants, if you know anybody. Because, again, there's a lot of stuff that we come home and we bring home, like baggage, literally baggage, and some stuff that we don't even talk about and I feel like we should because it really affects us all. Um, but it's a series I'm going to be calling Turbulence, and I'm probably going to be making a much longer video um, in addition to this. And if you don't know what turbulence is, if you've never flown, um, it's just and you know just a regular air movements um, caused by you know an imbalance in elevation at altitude. Um, so sometimes that's why the plane kind of you know like yaws and jolts around and stuff like that. So you know that's a scary part of traveling um, that a lot of people you know don't you know don't understand. But turbulence doesn't last always, just like the storms in life. Um, but just in saying that, I just wanted to you know just talk to you guys you know just to um, it's hard. Um, just to talk to you guys about, you know, just the things that you guys can do as flight attendants as well, just your resources for living. Um, just to let you guys know, like, hey, look, you're not alone. There's so many avenues that you have. But again, I'm going to be talking about this in a much broader scope. But it is something that I wanted to mention, especially in light of this past week. I'm of a fellow um, Scott sister, Miss um, Kaylee Scott, um, who unfortunately, you know, lost her life due to suicide, you know, this week. Um, you know, she was seeking all the help that she could, and it just wasn't enough. And, you know, I just pray, pray for nothing but blessings for anybody that knew Kaylee, um, that came in contact with her, heard that she was such a bright and charismatic soul. And I'm praying for any family and friends of the Scott family. Um, you guys are in my deepest prayers, and I'm sending my condolences all to you guys. On one of my first months working, we landed back in Atlanta. It was so late. <laughs> And we were just texting on the wrong, we were texting on the wrong way. And this guy was like, hey, how you doing today? And I was like, oh, wow. I said, you know, you're the first person to talk to me today. And, you know, it's outside of like just the casual haze and, you know, stuff like you're doing when you're coming onto the plane and when you're deep landing. But I was like, he's the first person to actually have a conversation with me. That, you know, I wasn't really vibing with my crew and I didn't talk to a lot of people that day. But, you know, just sometimes just a simple, hey, how you doing today? Are you having a good day? You know, like, um. How's the weather like? You know, just talking to us like we're human and not like we're servants or anything like that. And that, that really goes a long way with us because, like you guys, we don't know why you guys are traveling and you guys don't know what we got to go through just to come to work. And some days, you know, we're away from family and friends for weeks at a time. And, you know, sometimes just a simple smile helps us so much. Um, yeah, I mean, I just can't wait for you guys to see this series that I'm going to start up um, in addition just to, of course, like my normal flight attendant content. And I'm not trying to put a damper on anything. Um, so I feel like, you know, I was trying to be like super jovial and kind of hearted. But again, I got to be honest, you know, just one of the main reasons I started this channel was, to, of course, to be real. I was inspired, you know, by so many flight attendants, you know, flying with skates, slow legend, Milo's TV. Look, man, <laughs> you really helped inspire me. And I can't wait to tag you in this, man. You probably one of the only reasons why I am a flight attendant. I can't, you know, 
wait to meet you one day, bro. But, um, you know, just all about protecting your peace and, of course, being honest with you guys. You guys want to be into this career. I want to got, let you guys know what you're going to get into. It's fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, sometimes it's hard. You know, some days, you know, you're not going to feel like getting out of bed or even going on a Barcelona trip. Sometimes you just want to stay at home in PJs and just chill, eat ice cream. I know I do enough of my little soapbox for this morning. Um, I'm going to eat mine probably now cold <laughs> cinnamon roll, and I'm definitely going to check in with you guys in a little bit. But um, I don't know. If there's anything that you guys want to know or feel like, you know, you got questions about, man, like my DMs are always open. You can drop a comment again, like comment and subscribe if you feel like, you know, you're resonating with any, with anything that I'm saying, man. We here, you know, we here. I got you. Um, but no, just let me know. Um, hundred percent, ten toes down. I got y'all. I'm checking with you guys in a little bit as I'm getting ready, and we are headed back to Atlanta today, and then tonight I think we somehow end up in Albany, Albany, New York. So, hopefully it's a little bit warmer than this, but I'm checking with you guys in a little bit. Love y'all. <laughs> Yo, Yo John, I don't think we're leaving anytime soon. Uh, flat tire guy. <laughs> Day two. Oh. Well, that'll follow the leader because I don't know what was going on. Um, but no, it looks like it's just super windy today. It's like 40 miles per hour wind, so checking in for KC. Oh, I kind of want to get some Starbucks. I love my energy drink and I'm really upset about it. What's up everybody, we just got to Albany, been here maybe 20 minutes, the van ride took forever. Said our baby was on 12 hours, and me and my A, we were in the same class, oh, it's 2021, but we were in different sections. Um, so we know we're just gonna treat the new people to a uh, dream, you know, just good times and everything, trying to chill with the crew, it's always good. Like I said before, just get out the room, so. But yeah, we were told that the bar closed at one, it was already closed when we got here, so we're about to go check out this this pub and everything down um, down on the street. Hopefully, you know, you know, just you know, get some laughs, you know, just some relaxation before the start of day three tomorrow. So I was late because they gave me an occupied room, so need to go to the rest of my crew now. Gotta go down where? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, everybody. All on Z. I was explaining to YouTube that you know they gave me an occupied room and um how. We were told that the bar was going to be uh, open until one. one. Yeah. And it wasn't. How you, how you guys feeling today? Uh, tired. <laughs> I have the, the bar is not this man, This man just been wanting to chill for like three days and he hasn't made I just wanted a beer. <laughs> I really just want a beer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, oh, guys? So we have... Oh, yeah, yeah. What's yeah, up, guys? So we have a Green tea. Oh, yeah, yeah. Green man, look, so we lit. Hey. How you doing? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, you guys got to drop your ad so I can drop it in later. At Trizzy101. T R I Z Z Y Y Y. Marbury K47. All right, say <laughs> hey. Hey, say <laughs> listen. <laughs> I love that you're a YouTuber and everything. I too. They want to see it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Um, it's still pretty early. Uh, we were supposed to be reporting to the van at 12.28 for an early report time today for our trip. We're supposed to be going to Atlanta, and then we're supposed to be doing a penalty lap uh, Fort Walton Beach and back. We're supposed to be done around like 30, 10 o'clock tonight. But um, I'm not sure if it was due to weather or anything mechanical, but... Our flight kept getting pushed back and it kept getting pushed back. So um, I have been contacting the flight leader because we all got a crew notification saying that things were gonna get delayed. And um, yeah, so that makes some extra time to sleep in. Didn't grab breakfast like I wanted to or hit the gym like I wanted to today, but um, definitely gotta get some more sleep. Um, had a great time last night with the crew. Everyone was great. Tea was great. So if you ever come here, you gotta go to McGeary's. Tea, no tea. Fantastic dude, fantastic. Um, but yeah, everything's real chill. Something happened to one of our vans and somebody threw a rock through the windshield. So uh, 
tough. So we are down to one hotel shuttle today. And all that means is that, um, yeah, um, kind of low transportation. But no, Bruce Schedule told us that, you know, because of all the delays, that we do not have to do that penalty lap. So when we get back to Atlanta after this flight, we are done. And it's all good because that means you still get paid for your original trip credit. I got two hours before pickup because now the pickup is around three. So I think he's like so beautiful. Um, I got a nice view. Normally I'm like looking at a wall sometimes, but I'm gonna try to show you guys the view of the city. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. I really like it. See, it's not so bad, right? It's such a pretty day. Oh my gosh. She's just like some kind of like mountains in the back, I guess. I don't know, it's so pretty though. Um, it's probably around like 40 degrees outside, so I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. Today's gonna be a good day. What's up, everybody? Finally getting ready to be uh, in New York. Um, about to go downstairs and meet up with the rest of my crew. Take the shuttle. It's like a 30 minute drive to get there, so hopefully we get there in enough time. But our flight keeps getting delayed, so um, but they did cancel our last two legs for the day, so <sighs> happy about that. I'll check in with you guys. Here with my boy John and John. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to the plane. I'm galley king today, so you know it's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, but yeah, the incoming crew said we were kind of low in stock, so I'm trying to build the cars as best as I can. We're out of a lot of stuff, so they are. Yeah. All right, cool. So yeah. My boy John, you know, this man right here, this man, the machine, the religion. <laughs> <laughs> do you have social media, John? Um, I do. Yeah, well, right? I just, no, I gotta get on Instagram. I'm old, I don't uh, uh, have the time lazy. <laughs> All right, well, if John drops his socials, what's your social? What can they follow you at? What can the people follow you? I have uh, Facebook right now, so it's just the uh, John. John. You can say that, I mean, if you want people to follow you. Yeah. You don't have to. Okay. And I would be on Facebook. I'm one of two, so okay. you can't miss me. How do you spell the last name for the people? R E I M H O L D T. See, this is what I'm talking about. My boy, John. I got All right, you. so for the people on social media, how can they follow you if they want to follow you? Uh, at Chambers Aaron. Um, but Chambers with a Z, not an S. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> Chambers with a Z. See, this man got to get on IG. John, I'm blaming you. See, this is what I'm talking about. Appreciate the ice. See? <laughs> That's why I love, see, that's why I love working with crews like this. Everything just, the CRM, what, what did you say yesterday, like two days ago? I got a CRM working great on this one. <laughs> I don't know, it's always good, especially when you guys can talk and just communicate effectively. It just makes the job 10 times easy. What do you say, man? Oh, uh, no, it makes the job a lot easier, a lot better. Everybody's smiling and having a good time. Hey, man, look, see, when the crew's happy, the passenger's are happy. Man, you know, that's always a win-win. Check in with you guys in a little bit. Peace. Finally done with my trip. The end of day three. Just so happy to be done. Um, I'm definitely gonna miss my crew. I can't wait to fly with them again. It's always good just to be back home. All right, until next time, you can make sure that you comment anything that you guys are feeling, any places that you wanna see me go to. I can always pick up a good trip. Trying to pick up something probably international before the summer hits but be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel i appreciate the support until next time peace